just because Young Jun and Miso are in love, doesn't mean they were struggles are over, because romance is tricky enough to navigate when you don't also work together. And Young Jun still hasn't achieved his goal of convincing Miso to marry him, he's still trying to get an answer after four failed proposals. He's going to have to make this last one count, but he's all out of ideas, and this might be his last chance. Episode 15 recap After telling Young Jun that she's decided to continue working for him, Miso takes him inside for Ramayan. She says it's always been her dream to spend the evening with her husband after work, and Young Jun tells her that he wants to be her husband and make that dream come true. They don't know that Miso's father is in her bed under the covers, listening to Young Jun's impromptu proposal. When Young Jun moves in to kiss Miso, Dad jumps up screaming at the top of his lungs, I object. Miso asks why Dad isn't at the hospital, and he says that he was released but there's no water at his house. He wants to talk to Young Jun man to man, and Young Jun looks back at Miso in desperation as he's literally dragged outside. Dad takes him to a Pojang Misha, then tells him that he's very disappointed in Young Jun's unromantic proposal. He said he'd eat ramen with her every day even if it filled his body with MSG. Young Jun says he only meant they should live simply and happily. Dad orders him to propose again, and not to skimp on the romance this time, warning Young Jun that he'll be watching him carefully. Dad starts pouring the drinks, and soon Young Jun is blearily thanking him for bringing Miso into the world. Young Jun impresses Dad with how much detail he knows about Miso, like that she loves mackerel, but doesn't eat it ever since she got a bone stuck in her throat, or that she no longer eats spicy food when she's stressed. Ha, huh, I'm dying at the way Young Jun's eyes are blinking at different rates of speed. When Young Jun reveals that he knows the details of Dad's failed business and ill-advised personal loan, Dad says that his family is poorer than Young Jun imagined. Dad asks if Young Jun still likes Miso, and if he's confident his feelings won't change, and Young Jun reassures him that that will never happen. Dad yells that he passes and officially appoints Young Jun his son-in-law, if he proposes to Miso properly. Miso worries when she can't reach Young Jun by phone, so she goes out to wait in front of her building. She's shocked to see Dad and Young Jun shuffling home arm in arm, crooning the love for each other. Miso overhears Dad say that he doesn't care if Young Jun is rich as long as he treats her well, though it's nice that he happens to be rich, he. She reels at the stench of alcohol accompanying them, but when she snaps at Dad for drinking at his age, Young Jun barks at her not to speak to his father-in-law that way. It's a mistake, as she turns on him to retort that he's got a meeting tomorrow. Dad stage whispers that Misa scares him sometimes, and Young Jun answers that she scares him all the time. They suffer a fit of giggles, then Dad says he's going inside, leaving it to Misa to call a cab for his son-in-law. Miso parks Young Jun on a bench and calls Yushik to pick him up, then chastises him for drinking so much with his low alcohol tolerance. Barely conscious, Young Jun tells Misa sweetly that he loves her, melting her anger instantly. He says that he was so happy when he saw her nine years ago, even though she didn't recognize him, and that he thinks he's loved her ever since then. Softly petting her hair, he adds with a smile that he will make her happy for the rest of her life, and that because of her, he'll be happy for the rest of his life. He says again that he loves her, then falls asleep and topples over onto her shoulder. Smiling, Miso hugs him and pats him while he sleeps. Young Jun wakes in his own bed the next morning, mostly dressed and wondering what happened last night. He frantically hopes he didn't embarrass himself in front of Miso's father, but even his brilliant brain can't remember much. He's feeling pretty hungover and nauseated on the ride to work, and he begs his upset stomach not to ruin the dignified image he's so carefully cultivated. The office team look like sad little puppies when Miso arrives at work. They have a little ceremony to wish her goodbye, singing a song and giving her a plaque to show their appreciation for her years of hard work. Feeling terrible, Miso tells them that she's not leaving after all, and they burst into excited screams and make her pinky swear that she'll never quit again. GR belatedly realizes that if Miso isn't leaving, that might leave her without a job, since she was to be Miso's replacement. Misa says that it's because GR lightened her workload that she was able to get some of her own time back, so she doesn't want anything to change. When reminded that GR and Shay